Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, and here behind me, I'm gonna have a Honda Passport Trail Sport. Let's jump right in. All right, so here we are, right outside the Honda Passport Trail Sport. Let me be one of the first to congratulate you guys on your new Honda, and welcome to the Honda family if this is your guys' first time. This video is gonna help you guys to set up your vehicle settings, so when you drive off the lot, you're set for success, everything's set the way you want it. Now, if you guys want more detailed kind of information on the standard features and functions on this vehicle, check out my walk around video from there. Then I also have the tips and tricks too as well. So you'll be aware of all the cool features that maybe people get to share with you. All right, let's jump right in and set everything up the way you want. All right guys, so here we are right inside the Honda Passport Trail Sport. We're at the home screen, the vehicle's on and running. We're gonna select settings. From settings, we're gonna go down to vehicle. All right, then driver's position setup. What I love about the Honda Passport, as you select this stuff, it's going to give you a summary of the setting you're playing around with, so it's going to make it nice and easy. So, for example, you get your seat position, movements on entry and exit. So, like, for example, I have the car on running now. If I turn it off, the seat, the driver's seat will move back a little bit, okay? It makes it a little easier for me to get in and out. And then when I jump in the vehicle, I turn it back on, it moves back forward uh, for you too as well, all right? So I'm going to keep this on. A lot of these settings, I'm going to keep them enabled, all right? Uh, so when I take people out for a test ride, they can choose if they want it on or off. Now this is going to go for your two-seat memory, okay? You can save the position of your two-seat memory, and you can link that setting with the, your key fob. So on the back of your key fob, you have a driver one, driver two. You also have the buttons here on the driver's side door, one and two. So now if I walk in with driver key fob one, and I have the settings already pre-saved, boom, it moves to driver one, and then vice versa for driver two, okay? So let's keep that on. We're gonna back out from there. You got your meter set up. You get your outside temperature display, all right? So you guys can choose to fine tune your outside temperature display if you want to, all right? Now that's gonna be right over here on the bottom left-hand side. Down below, 84 degrees. We'll put the tripod right back. There we go. Now you're gonna have your trip A and trip B. This is all gonna be the same. Do you want it to automatically reset or do you want to do it yourself? Pretty much, you have a couple options there. All right, you get a reverse shift beep position. So every time you put the vehicle into reverse, if it's on, it's gonna make a nice little alert tone saying, yep, I'm in reverse, all right? All right, you got your alarm volumes here. So this is gonna be like your buzzers, your tuning indicators, um, stuff like that. You can adjust the, how loud it's going to be between those three options. Your turn by turn display right there. You can simply turn that on. So when you use your navigation, your fuel efficiency backlight, this give you more of a cosmetic thing here. All right, so when you're being fuel efficient, it's gonna be talking about this light over here, right up there. The white bar turns from white to green, green as you're being fuel efficient. And when you're not green to white, all right? That's all it is, just a visual coach. Why not? We'll keep it on. You get your rear seat reminder. So when you uh, about to, let's say you open up the back door, back door is open up, you turn on the vehicle, you know, everything's shut, and it's, it registers that you were in the back seat, the back door is open, you shut the vehicle, it's gonna pop up, hey, check your rear seat, right here on the driver's interface for you. Okay, remind you, maybe you got something back there, kids, cargo, something important. So we'll get that on, why not? Power tailgate setup. And you have power tailgate with keyless right here. All right, so this is when you have the key fob with you, um, the key fob. And you walk up to it and you put your hand in the handle for that tailgate, you hit the button for that tailgate. Do you want it to open up when the doors are locked? If so, it's gonna be any time or just when the car is unlocked, all right? We'll keep it any time, because you need that key fob with you. All right, so this is gonna be for your power tailgate. Do you want to keep it, has it powered? Or do you just want it as a hydraulic lift gate? Well, hey, let's just keep it powered. You have your keyless access set up from here, all right? Door unlock mode. All right, so there we go. You got the key fob with you in your pocket. You walk up, put your hand in the handle, right? Is it gonna be a little delayed, but do you want all doors to unlock or just the driver's side door? Now there's going to be a delay when you put your hand in the handle, okay? Uh, so give people, your passengers, whoever's tagging along or yourself, a little visual, the lights will flash. So, yep, it's unlocked. So we'll keep that on. 
so you're not yanking on the locked door handle. Then the same thing here is just a little beep. All right, little beep beep. We'll keep the beep on. Remote start. So if you like to keep your remote start enabled, you, so you can use it. To use that, all you have to do is hit lock twice and hold this button down here for a few seconds. Then it comes right on. I live here in Iowa, so yes, I'm going to keep that enabled. Then you're going to have your walk away auto lock feature here. So this is going to be great. So when I shut the car and I walk away with this key fob, I get 10 feet away and the doors are closed. Then boom, it locks all the doors automatically for me. I don't have to second guess myself when I got some other supplies in the car there. So... And then also when I'm done with this video and I walk away, I know it's all locked up. You have your driver's assist system set up from here. So this is where you guys can customize your Honda sensing features, all right? You have your forward collision right here. So with your forward collision warning, it's got three stages where it's going to warn you uh, from there. First stage is going to be a quick little display, hey, up on your driver's interface to brake. If you don't brake, it's going to slow you down. And if you don't act fast enough, it stops, okay? for you. You can choose how soon do you want it to warn you. I'm going to keep it on normal because that's what Honda has it set at. Now you're going to have your adapted cruise control. So with the adapted cruise control, um, when you have it enabled and it finds a car in front of you, it hits that range, it's going to slow you down to maintain that distance. As it does that, do you want it to beep at you? Yeah, I'm going to turn it on. You can have your road departure. This is what keeps you in the center of your lane. You can change the sensitivity on that, normal or wide. Or maybe you don't like it to bring you back and you like it to have it as a warning only from there. I'm going to keep it on normal for you guys. All right, your lane keeping assist, beep. So if your lane keep assist is for your highway driving, as you guys probably already know, between 45 and 90 miles an hour. I go over this in my walk around video, so check that out down below in the description. There's going to be a link for you guys. That gives you more detailed information about all these features. Now, when you go out of your lane for your highway driving, as it's about to bring you back where the last setting was set at, do you want it to beep at you? Your blind spot information system, all right? So you have a little indicators over here by the side mirrors. On the inside, when the car is in your blind spot, it lights up right now. Then when you have your turning indicator on while someone's in your blind spot, then it beeps at you. You have to at least go 15 to 20 miles an hour for this to actually work, okay? So if you want to shut off, you can. Hey, I like where it's set at. 90% of the people keep it on. We're gonna back out from there. We're gonna scroll down. Wireless phone charger. Wireless phone charging. You simply do want to turn that on or off. It's right down here below. There it is. Now we're gonna have your door set up, auto door lock. So you just got into your vehicle, about to drive off now to your friends and family, okay? When do you want your doors to lock? With speed, when you shift from park, or have it off and when you just hit the lock button on the side. Your auto door unlocked, okay? So we just arrived here at Rainy Kill Honda, wherever you're going, and when do you want your doors to unlock? Uh, you got all doors, when the driver's side door opens up, when you shift to park, when you shop the vehicle, all right? Key and remote right here. This is when you hit the button the first time. So let's say I got the key fob with me and I hit unlock just once. Don't want driver's side or all doors to unlock. Now, no matter what you set this at, just remember when you hit it twice, boom, boom, automatically all doors unlock from there, all right? Now when I lock it all up, as you can see, I'm assuming you guys probably want to answer back and the lights flash too as well. Security timer. You have X amount of time to grab a door handle when the car is unlocked. So let's just start that all, all over again. So let's say if I hit unlock, right? And I'm like, hey, Chris, go out there and grab something from the, you know, the car for me. Hit unlock. I have X amount of time to open up a car door. If I don't open up a door in 30 seconds, boom, all the doors locked again, right there, okay? Now that's everything there. You got your lighting set up, interior light dimming time. Let's select this. So, pretty much when your lights will turn off for your interior lights, right here. So, I shut off the car, 
I shut the door. As soon as the door starts, uh, the door is shut, the timer starts, okay? So 30 seconds. From now, after the door is shut, your interior lights in the car would turn off. Or whatever you set that to. The headlight auto timer. Same thing. I shut off the car, I shut the door. As soon as the door is shut, and then this timer will start, in 15 seconds, your headlights will automatically turn off. Especially for your nighttime driving, okay? Uh, so I can see you guys changing this if you get home late or maybe where you guys are going for your daily driving and it's not a well lit area just to get a little more visibility we probably extend that timer you know to maybe uh, 30 seconds and then just hit save it's that quick and easy auto interior light so this is when you have your turning indicators to I'm uh, sorry not turning indicators over here on your turning indicator stick when you have your lights on auto right there okay so make sure it's done auto now, as you guys can read that right there, get this tripod to stay put. All right, so pretty much having your lights switch in there, the sensitivity on that. How soon? Now we're gonna have your auto headlights with wipers. So every time I have my uh, lights on auto, the headlights on auto, and I turn on my wipers, automatically my headlights will come on. Oh, was that on? Yep, that was on. You have security. So your headlights, how soon will those come on? It's between day and nighttime levels. Now that's everything there. Now those autos, once again, your lights have to be on auto for those to enable, okay? Now you have your maintenance menu right here. So there's any kind of recommended service or things that are required right now. It's gonna pop up right here for you guys. Guys, thanks again for watching my video. Hopefully, it's been helpful to set you guys up for success. And if it was, please consider hitting the like and subscribe so you'll be notified of my new videos. I put a lot of time in these just for you guys, all right? Well, welcome to the family. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.